मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इट्स फोर्टीन मार्च टू थाउजेंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ प्रो एम टी ट्रेडर्स डाइजेस्ट लेट मी गो थ्रू द डिस्कलेमर फर्स्ट ट्रेडिंग इन स्टॉक्स डेरेवेटिव इन्वॉल्व सब्सटेंशियल रिस्क ऑफ लॉस एंड नॉट सुटेबल फॉर ऑल इन्वेस्टर्स पास्ट और सिमुलेटेड परफॉर्मेंस इज नॉट अ गारंटी ऑफ फ्यूचर रिजल्ट All indicators, strategies shown in the video are for education purpose only. All levels discussed in this video are for understanding the study and not a recommendation to trade. Please consult your personal financial advisor before making any trade decision based on this video. We will not be responsible for any resulting profits or losses. So before we uh, go into the daily charts, let's. have a look at the micro composites and let's see what happened in the entire week so here overall it's forming a nice balance so if we if we calculate this this entire is a nice balance but uh, still i would I, i would prefer to use micro composites within that balance to see how it behaved because uh, here it was taking support at 8907 and that is the micro composite uh, val of the first micro composite in this range and then we can divide it into one micro composite here another here and leave this leave this for time being and make a micro composite here so basically once we leave this range which might happen today because uh, following the up election results uh, we had a holiday uh, yesterday and uh, sgx is trading higher uh, sgx was trading higher on monday so maybe we open a huge gap up so we'll take it from there once once we cross this range we'll mark this as a separate balance and then take it forward the monthly vwap right now is at 895052 so uh that is a that is a, a point to watch uh in any further development now let's see the bank nifty so bank nifty also doing the same thing it has established one balance and another balance and now we're establishing a, a balance within that balance so overall this entire will become a, a full balance and uh, similarly we'll uh, have a look uh, post the opening today we'll decide if we want to mark this as a complete balance now while we are on the weeklies let's also see the weekly projected levels which might uh, uh hit in the morning itself so the projected high is 9067 and the projected low is 8850 and out of that uh it's it's uh, not just uh uh the projected high but also uh last week i was seeing this that uh, the extension of this the retracement extension uh 61.8% comes at 9231 and any acceptance above 9231 will lead to a fresh up move and that that generally happens on a intermediate and a shorter time frame now on this bigger time frame i have never seen how nifty does but this is if this works on other time frames it should work on this larger time frame as well so the point to watch would be uh 9231 and on the downside what happens at the 8976770 percent retracement extension and also 9231 happens to be the third resistance as per the uh, projections so 9123 9179 and then 9231 happens to be 
the third resistance. So, looking at the FII call writing, seems like uh, it might uh, get resisted around 9200 initially even if it opens huge gap up while it starts uh, maybe results in a short covering not necessarily result in a, uh, a breakout failure so because it's it's a, a gap led by professionals who who would already have that information that we are analyzing on the charts because the way the election process was forming uh, informed people would already know that who is going to win and the positions are not created it's the people who are looking at the election results but the position would be created keeping in mind the future of the markets which and their perception of what this market can give in coming days now on bank nifty the projected high is 21132 and uh, the projected uh, low is 2463 so that also might uh, directly open gap up and if it opens gap up then we'll see uh, uh, 21615 is the third resistance on bank nifty now let's also have a look at the sectors how they performed in the week uh, metals kept on going down and uh, lost almost more than five percent so expect uh, the metals to uh, revert to the mean in any gap up and the mid caps are lagging uh, one percent down in the week and media was uh, going higher so expecting uh, the uh, actually the bank nifty was taking lead so it might it has like generally what happens uh, they rotate within a five percent range so bank nifty has uh, room to go higher and uh, along with that the CN, uh, cnx psu banks might go higher whereas so in a in a gap up every sector might first uh, initially try to go higher and then we'll see how the sectors perform during the day then uh, if media is too much high then it might want to revert to the mean so that would be a short opportunity and metals might revert to the mean uh, that would be a buy opportunity and if it reverts to the mean directly if media re uh, metal reverts to the mean directly then again that also is a selling opportunity in media and energy seems to be weakening so we'll have a look at energy for the weakening part and pharma may be a mean revert and stays above that then go on the positive side Now let's have a look at the nifty so overall a uh, nice balance a tight balance in between and tails on either side now not much to analyze because due to due to this event uh, there's no point making a uh, hypos because we'll have to do it during the day but just just to see what it did on uh, friday uh, opened gap up came into this balance and almost traveled the entire balance so it uh, it made a micro balance and uh, this is what i was talking about the recent behavior change that it creates a micro balance does not fail it breaks down and continues down again creates a micro balance breaks down again it goes higher but see it's not able to go above the micro and fail see earlier what it used to do it would go above this high and fail instead of that it's failing within that and accelerating on the lower side so now on the 15 minute again the same behavior creates a balance throughout 
Now on 15 minute, we can say that, okay, there is a micro balance failure, but uh, this is uh, like a very wide balance to trade because it's, it's this balance comes with a thrust on the downside and then slowly makes its way higher. So that's, that's literally not tradable based on just this chart because we don't know how much it can push through beyond this balance. And if we consider this balance, then the ba balance is here. So we, we are able to trade like just 8955 to 8965 kind of zone because the, the actual balance is just 10 to 15 points. So now uh, I will not go into the hypos because that we'll have to do it live and bank nifty again the same thing same sort of balance and close at the mid so expecting a trend day obviously and on the one minute let's see the behavior same behavior as nifty creates a balance accelerates down again creates a balance accelerates down again creates a balance accelerates down and finally gets back into that micro and makes its way higher towards the high of this prior balance so every time this has become a behavior that it will keep on breaking the balances and again reach back to the other side of the balance Fifteen minutes. This this seems to be a nice behavior that there is a balance here. We trade the breakdown. It comes back to test and again falls back and creates uh, a breakdown from this balance as well. So this this was quite tradable, but here we get a stopping volume and we get absorption. No demand. No demand is crossed, which is a good sign on fifteen minutes and trading above the high of the. Uh, stopping volume so overall becomes a positive sign getting rejected at the day mid so this this was the sign that we had an opening thrust and also uh, the uh, previous day on thursday we had a spike up so it was like trading below that so obviously just based on the results we can't uh, go long uh, because here there is no evidence of going long I think uh, that's it for uh, uh, today, uh, short video, but just to update the uh, weekly projections and to see that retracement as well as to see the sectors. So we'll catch up in the room and uh, have a profitable trading day ahead, uh, we'll try Try to avoid, if there is no clear indication, I'll try to avoid taking trades in early hours. So maybe I'll I'll wait for it to form some micro balance and then react because it might get volatile. We, we cannot predict what can happen. Depends on the euphoria and the panic because the shorters might run for a cover and they might even wait thinking that, okay, it has just, it's the first time it has open gap up in that zone and uh, maybe they might wait for further information. So thanks for watching and uh, catch you all in the room.